Saturday morning, everyone. Well, actually, it's afternoon. <laughs> um, I had some errands to do today, so uh, I had to get up and get going first thing. So we're doing our workout. We're going to go over a few things today. Again, I want to remind you to engage your core, picture with your mind, all of your muscles tightening. You may not feel it now, but we'll build them up. Also, any time that we squat, you're squatting, you're engaging all, if you engage your core, keep your tailbone straight, okay? Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is chest stretches. So just put your arms out and we're gonna stretch out, squeeze in, so you're squeezing with your pecs. Stretch out, squeeze in, 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 stretch out, squeeze in. I really need somebody here counting with me. I'm not sure if that was 10, but you could do 10 of these or just do them along with me, whatever you want. So now we're gonna do punches. So what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna punch like this. See, my, my, my foot's moving as, and I'm following, my shoulder is following my punches. Do not overextend because you can hurt your shoulder. So it's gonna be like a jab, okay? So we're jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. You're squeezing all your muscles, okay? So here we go, we're gonna do one, one, two, two. Squeeze it, three, four, four, five, five. Squeeze it. That's 10. Now you can always do more than 10. Remember, we can do three sets of 10 if you want, or you can do as many as you feel that you wanna do. Now we're gonna do something that's called a half runner's lunge. So um, just in case you can't do a full lunge, because sometimes they're a little tricky. Um, so if you're a little older, these might be a little easier for you. So again, engage your core, keep this straight, and we're just gonna go part way. Okay, super easy, right? Okay, just be engaging everything. Do this at your own pace. Maybe you can't go as fast as I'm going. Maybe you need to go slower. Maybe you need to go faster because you're younger or in better shape than I am. So feel free to do whatever it is that you need to do to feel this in your body. Engage your core. Suck those gut muscles in. Make sure that you are straight and upright. Make sure you're engaging your legs. You should feel this throughout your entire leg. We'll do a couple more again. I don't know how many we've done. I can't count and exercise at the same time. So there you go. As long the important thing is that you just make sure both sides are even. So when we're rotating, it's kind of just up to you as to how you feel and how many you want to do. The next thing we're going to do is called an uppercut. So for this one, you are going to kind of sit into your, you're going to squat a little, engage your core, your back is straight, okay? And then I'm just going to turn with my waist when I punch, which I'm going to punch up and up, okay? It's an uppercut. If I was punching somebody, it would be an uppercut. Okay, so pick up and follow along. So I'm not really, I need to keep my rear end <laughs> taunt and tight. My core is taunt and tight. I am engaging my muscles as I'm punching. Again, these are short. An upper cap cut is a short jab and you don't wanna hurt your shoulders. So you're just gonna squeeze your muscles Squeeze your core, okay? This really helps with the waist. You can make your waist smaller. So you just do as many as you, as you want to do, okay? Again, you can multiply this to two sets or three sets. I encourage everyone to start with one set and then build up. Why don't you take a deep breath? Let's go. Let it out. One more deep breath. Let it out. 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do what's called skater. So hopefully you won't lose me on the screen here, but I'm going to step. And so my arms are going to follow. I'm going to step back, step back, step back, step back. Okay. Now this, you're also going to go at your own speed. If you need to go slower, go slower. If you need to go faster, go faster. If you can count, <laughs> then count. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if not, we're just going for it. So like I said, when you're alternating sides, as long as you just keep alternating sides, it'll be fine. So remember to engage your core. Is your core engaged? Are you squeezing your arm muscles? Are you making your arms work right along with your core, your glutes, your thighs, all of it, right? Okay, all right, good job, everybody. Okay, now we're gonna do curls. So on the curls, I'm going to bring my arms up. So my, my foot just gonna come up. I'm gonna squeeze though. I'm gonna squeeze all of these muscles. I'm gonna squeeze my arm muscles on the up and throw them back and I'm squeezing my tricep muscles on the back, okay? So you're gonna go up, back, up, back, up, back, up, back, up, back, up, back. Again, you do this at your own pace. You have, you need to squeeze though. You need to have time to really squeeze, make it work for you. Squeezing your arms forward and back. Squeezing your legs. Your glutes, engage your core, right? We're always gonna talk about engaging our core. Okay, you could do as many of these as you want as well. You could just keep dirt doing it till it just keeps burning. Okay, then we're gonna do another one that's good for your waist. We're gonna open our feet. And I, I like to bring my, my hands together in a fist. Again, you're engaging your core. Your back is straight, your core is engaged, and it's sort of like the uppercut as far as um, how you're engaging everything. You're gonna turn, turn, turn. This is a waist, this is for your waist. So you should feel it in your waist, in your core, tightening your thighs, tightening your arms. Just picture all of your muscles engaging and working. And sweating. <laughs> Anybody else sweating? <laughs> Just this little bit of motion, right? Our 10 minutes of motion. It can be this. It can be walking. It can be laser tag with your kids or grandkids. All of those things. It could be dancing, whether you like salsa dance or just 80s dance. <laughs> That's my jam. Okay, here comes my grandson. So we take a deep breath. We breathe out. We've got about two minutes left. We're going to do some high knees really quickly. So for this one, you're just going to march with high knees, okay? So here we go. Opposite arms. Again, you're squeezing your muscles. You're picturing that your abdomen is lifting your knees. It's not just your knees lifting your knees. You're engaging your core and you're feeling it in your core as you do your high knees, okay? Now, with anything that we do, if you are moving your arms uh, and engaging your muscles, you're going to raise your heart rate. So, uh, that's a really good, fun thing to do <laughs> to get your heart rate up, right? So, let's keep I going. You. I see that. You want fruit snacks. Here's my... Friend, y'all keep going. We're almost done. Three, two, one. Okay, here you go, bud. Okay, so now let's take a quick minute. We're gonna do a wall stretch. You're gonna take your right arm, put it on the wall, stretch it. You should feel the stretch in your chest. You can do about 30 seconds of this if you, if you want. The longer the stretches, the better off you are, really. Switch arms, we're gonna put the left one 
and you lean as far in as you want. I'm a little more flexible, so I can really turn into it and feel that stretch. You never want anything to hurt. It can feel uncomfortable, but you don't want it to be pain, okay? Stretching should feel good. Um, so, all right. So next, to finally, to close out, we will do a sun salutation, which is something we did yesterday. Again, we're engaging our core. We're going to bend at our hips as we go down. You can put your feet about hips distance apart. Sun salutation, we're going to reach up in breath. Then we're gonna dive forward, hinging at the waist. You can hang there for a moment. Remember, your weight should be in your heels. And you can hang on your elbows too and swing if you want. And then to come to back to the center, there's our timer. You're gonna come up to a flat back. Remember, your core is engaged. Gonna dive back down. And then we're going to come up in breath. And release out. All right. That's your 10 minutes, and if you wanna keep going, you just keep on going. Just don't overdo. We wanna start working into our workout routines a little bit at a time, okay? So y'all have a great day and have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do something just really relaxing tomorrow. We'll do some easy yoga stretches that anybody can do.